In this lecture, we are going to calculate the balance amount when the user has added a list of credits and debits. Basically, we want to show the total remaining amount also in the UI. So let's go to VS Code and let's do that. For that, first of all, let's go ahead and let's create a global variable. Let's call it total amount. It is going to be of type number. And initially, let's assign it with the value 0. Now, let's create another function. So here I'm going to create a function. Let's call it calculate total. And in this function, what we are going to do is we are going to loop over this expense items array and we are going to get the amount from each expense item object and we are going to add it. So if it is of type credit, we are going to add it. But if it is of type debit, we are going to subtract it. So for that, on this expense items array, we are going to use the reduce method. And this reduce method, it will return us a single value. Now, how we are going to calculate that value? So for that, to this reduce method, we need to pass a callback function. Here I'm using arrow function syntax. And this callback function will take two parameters. The first parameter will be an accumulator. Let's call that accumulator total. And the second parameter will be the item for each iteration. So here we are going to loop over this expense items array. The elements of this expense items array is an expense object. So for each iteration, we are going to receive an expense object. Let's simply call it as exp. And what we also need to do is to this reduce method as a second parameter, we need to pass an initial value for the accumulator. So in this case, our accumulator is this total we need to pass an initial value for this total so for that total we are setting the initial value to zero and here we have this error because this reduce method should return some value so for that i'm going to use this return keyword and from here we are going to return the value stored in this total but before returning this total we also need to calculate that total so for that what we are going to do is here we are going to create a variable let's simply call it as amount and to get the amount on this expense object we have this amount property which will give us the amount okay and now if the expense type is of type credit this amount should be positive but if it is of type debit then the amount should be negative so that logic we are going to write so here we will say if expense dot type if it is equal to debit in that case we simply want to set the amount to minus amount or here you can also say minus exp dot amount both is fine okay so basically if the expense type is of type credit we are keeping the amount in positive but if it is of type debit then we want to make the amount as negative value and finally we will say total equals or total plus equals amount so for each iteration we are going to get the expense amount if it is credit we are keeping it as positive value if it is debit we are keeping it as negative value and for each iteration it is going to sum that up and this function will return the final total amount so let's go ahead and let's call this function every time this button gets clicked so I'm going to call it here and here we will say total amount equals whatever value this function will return so this total amount we have created above as you can see it is a global variable and to that we are assigning the total amount which this function will return now here we have an error and it error says type void is not assignable to type number that's because from this function so basically this reduce method it is going to return us the total the value stored in this total variable and same value we also want to return from this function so let's use return keyword and now that error should be gone now finally we also want to display that total amount currently we have simply calculated the total amount but we also want to display it in the ui right 
for that i am going to create another function let me call this function as show total and we want to display the total amount in this total expense amount div so first of all let's go ahead and let's access this div let's go to app.ts and again at the top i'm going to create a variable let's call it total amount div and to get access to that div we are going to use document.query selector to that we will pass the class name and here i'll use this exclamation telling that we know that this expression here it is always going to return us a div a div with this class name and i'm also going to typecast it as html div element okay and now here let me copy this variable name and in this show total function here let's say total amount dot text content equals i can say total amount dot to string we have to convert it to string because this text content it is a string value so it can either be string or null so i cannot assign a numeric value to it and that's why i need to convert it to string with this let's save the changes let me add a credit when i click on this add expense button that credit has been added here but it has not been displayed here that's because we also need to call this show total function we are not calling it right now okay save the changes again let me create a credit again and when i click on this add expense button you see we are seeing the total credit amount now let me add a debit let's say groceries maybe 250 and when i click on this add expense button that grocery has been added and this amount has been subtracted from the total amount if i add one more debit let's say movie ticket movie ticket let's say 150 and when i click on this add expense button movie ticket has been added and that value has also been subtracted from the total amount and finally let's add one more credit let's say youtube earnings or youtube income maybe 500 let's add it and that amount has been added to the previous balance now here i also want to make a little bit of change so before displaying the total amount what i want is i want to show a text maybe available balance and then i'll show the total amount so let's add a credit salary credit 10000 add expense and now you see it says available balance 10000 and when i add a debit let's say groceries maybe 145 add expense so now it is showing the available balance so everything is now is working as expected now in the next lecture what we want is when this cross button is clicked we want to delete that expense item from the ui let's see how we can achieve it in our next lecture this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day